Welcome everybody. Uh, this is a recording session with, uh, uh, for an interview with Abuelo Santos. He's a Brazilian startup that uh, recently moved to Canada, uh, joined us of funding program uh, in Community Tech and Waterloo, Ontario. So we wanted to share with you guys the experience uh, that uh, Wallace has actually passing through, you know, uh, all the uh, paperwork and uh, the application and all to, to have to be part of a soft landing program here in Canada. So welcome Wallace. Hello Miriam, good morning. Hello everyone. Very good morning. It's uh, awesome to be here and uh, share the ex this experience. Uh, in fact, we had the opportunity to, to participate in this soft landing program uh, ending 2014, almost uh, not almost yet, uh, two years ago, but uh, it's a long time. And uh, this, I think that the whole process was a little bit uh, different that they are applying today. Uh, in that moment, I was uh, researching in the Canada govern government website about opportunities to, to go to Canada. And uh, I saw uh, the post regarding soft landing program and I say, okay, why not? And uh, in that moment, I sent a message to, to the, the, the responsible of the program, and she put me in contact with the, the project manager, uh, Andrea, uh, that I think that she, she's working at in the software learning program. Uh, Andrea put me in contact with Ricardo Sodré. Uh, it was, he was a partner in Brazil, and uh, he made the interviews and the regiments, and then uh, after Two weeks, we was uh, we were buying flight tickets to go to Canada. It was a very very uh, uh, fast process. I think that was because the process was starting everything new. They are trying to 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 figure out how it works. I think that one very interesting. But the program was really really awesome. Uh, especially when we are, you are trying to move your business from one country to another country, and we need to understand the aspects that are involved, the differences that you have in this, this your born environment, your country, you know about. When you are going to another country, there is so many aspects you need to think, and uh, soft landing has a, the, the right environment to enable you to understand these differences. And uh, the best way to integrate to the local community, startups community you have in another country. So you, you have a very, very intensive uh, program showing you everything that you need to know and everything that you need to understand to, to, to keep your business moving forward. It's, I think that, uh, I don't know, I don't know if I explain it right, the right way it happened, but uh, work it for me <laughs> like this. Okay, so uh, why we don't go through some questions so we understand better uh, your experience in detail. Uh, the first question that I would like to ask you is what, what kind of a startup do you have? Like a, uh, it, it was in software, it was developing an application, what kind of a startup do you have and how long have you been in the market before you actually applied for the soft landing program? Oh, very, very interesting question. Uh, we started as a technology creator. We have a framework to help other developers to create uh, uh, native solutions thinking in a cloud environment, in mission critical environment. When we talk about cloud, everything is mission critical because you have many customers and if your system stop, everything stops. But uh, uh, we work it in this business, we are running around 10 years. It's a long time running this business and we are, we still are a startup. We are a very small company, we, we try to keep in this way. But recently, it's exactly when I went to Canada, we started a new idea. And this, uh, this idea consists in creating a new way to connect retailers and uh, consumers. We understand that there is a gap 
in this communication and the result you can see in your uh, junk mailbox. Uh, you have a lot of stuff there, or even you can see in your mailbox, physical mailbox, when you receive a lot of uh, different kinds of uh, advertising offering something for you. And we thought, oh, we can create something really, really uh, interesting for this. And uh, when I went to Canada, we started this idea and we started a research and create this new business and to be in Canada was amazing because I had that kind of support that I didn't have in Brazil before so a lot of specialists helping to to uh, create the right approach to the market the right idea how to works how the company works to define the sectors to work, so a lot of things that uh, when you are uh, doing something new, you uh, normally you forget some very important aspects. So when you are in the environment like the, this opportunity in soft learning program to be inside an accelerator, to be together with this kind of specialists, you create a real business plans I can say because this is a model and supporting so now we I am actually now I am in Brazil to start to release to the market this new product with my team and uh, once why I'm I am releasing here and not in Canada because there is some particularities in Brazil that uh, make us to accelerate the goals the go to market process but uh, I'm here next week. I'm going back to Canada, and soon I'm starting this business in Canada as well. Um, I don't know if I explained and everything. Yeah. Oh, perfect! <laughs> perfect. Thank you so much. So, uh, one of the questions is: uh, Normally, startups uh, see uh, North America's U.S. Why you didn't go to U.S. first? Uh, why I'm going to Canada before US, right? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> okay. The first idea when we started the plan to move from Brazil to open this new uh, this new initiative for any in Brazil, the first idea was United States. But uh, studying about this uh, for any environment, uh, we had identified that Canada for startups in that moment and I believe that still today had a lot of programs that make the environment better to to make this and um, this kind of uh, approach this is one the first stop the first question the second one is people Canadians are more open I think that I can use this word to new immigrants to new person that coming from their countries I think that they are they are very much more um, accustomed I think with uh, people from different countries you just get the demographic information about Toronto area you have a uh, 55% of the population are immigrants so you say when you are going to a, a place that they have this this open mind for this kind of interaction many of barriers that you have in this process to start a new business in different country they 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 fall because uh, and we have a, a, a point uh, when you are preparing this process you need to understand so many things I think that's makes easy I'm, I'm not clear really clear about but the point is Canada shows for us a much more um, um, friendly I think that the best word is friendly uh, place to start this initiative I think that that's the best word to define. Okay. And the great thing that. is, 
yeah, the great thing is actually you have access to US from Canada, <laughs> so that, that's good too. Uh, now, uh, for the next question uh, will be, when you apply for the soft landing program, how much was actually the paperwork that you have to provide, you know, in order to get your visa or, you know, to get actually involved in that soft landing program at Communitech? Wow. That's, that's a point that I have some concern to answer because the process for us was really easy and really fast. As I told you previously, um, in the whole process, we spent uh, around two weeks. But two weeks because we need to uh, book in meetings and we need to, to uh, adjust schedules to, okay, we can sit today to speak. But if I say, Oh, how long I spent? Four days to make all process. Since, since the first meeting to get the visa, I spent four days. If I, if I can assume in, in in time spent, it was very very fast. Very do fast. They, do they ask you too ma too many uh, you know things to too, too much paperwork like um. For, for your visa process, it's more than the passport. Yeah. That's interesting. I don't know if it was with me or if it, if it is with everyone, but uh, it, it's, it's hard to explain because when I, I look back and I think I say, wow, what happened? Because the things was so, so, so fast and so agile. And uh, they say, okay, you are approved. You just need to go to the Canadian website, apply to the visa. And that moment was a, a, a business visa, right? A visit or business visa. So in two days, I received the answer saying, okay, send us your passport. You approve it. And the papers was the, the nothing. Uh, 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 nothing was. Um, uh, strange or extra or not normal and that, but this was the first part of the process I went to Canada I spent three months there in the program to Brazil then once there I started the business in Canada and I started the second part of the process that get the work visa and again I went to the Canada have a full support the Canadian government I have meeting. I had meetings with the people from the immigration uh, uh, ministry, Canadian uh, Ontario uh, uh, immigration ministry, business immigration ministry, and they told me, "Oh, Wallace, the process is very simple. You just need to fill this form and send to us, and we give you our uh, approval, and just you show to the consulate, and they give you the, your visa." And this process again was too fast. I'm talking about 30 days. And 30 days because I was solving all the situations here in Brazil, so I don't sit really to do the things. Because once I applied, uh, one, week, week, uh, one week after I received the answer from the government, uh, the LM, LMIA, uh, Labor Market Impact Assessment, this is the name of the form that I applied. And the, the Canadian consulate, again, very fast. But I know that the process changed if you have a work visa in the same situation we have. And then today, you, you don't need any more to apply to the, to the uh, Ontario uh, uh, business immigration. You just need to apply to the consulates. The, the process is now is easier than in that moment. Uh, the next step is startup visa, and uh, we are starting this process on next March. And uh, the startup visa again today is easier than it was uh, two, two, two years ago. Uh, I just need to be accepted in the accelerator, Canadian accelerator, and the Canadian government website. You have a list of these accelerators, and once you are accepted, you receive a letter 
and you are inside Canada startup program. It's easy. That, it's, it's that's awesome. really easy. <laughs> yeah. That's great. To uh, now, uh, for the last question, because this is kind of like a short interview, I imagine <laughs> that uh, you have experiences here in Canada. But uh, for the last question, um, there, there are many Latin American startups that are looking to enter to the North American market. In your experience, what is the best advice for those startups that are looking to the North American market? Uh, Bain, you are a startup that already have, you know, extended business here. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think there are three points that you need to really, really observe when you are thinking about this. The first one, of course, study the country. Study about the country, about the local market, because it's really different where you are accustomed to, to operate. So uh, if you are thinking to go to Canada, study about Canada, study uh, uh, about the, the how things work there, how are the, the, the public sectors works because you need to interact with the government to get your papers. Uh, study about uh, um, your as you do in your country, but uh, if you change the, the culture, you need to study a little bit more. Uh, study about um, how the, the business relation works and trying to be based in uh, some uh, accelerator and soft landing is a good approach for that. Like Communitech, where you can breathe in uh, this environment and, and but really realize about the cultural difference between the, the, the your uh, born country and your for the country that you are planning to go. This is the first thing. The second one is language. Uh, language is a special uh, chapter regarding integration. Communication is a critical path to the success. So, and the first way to communicate is your language, is your way that you speak, your, your idea, you transmit for the other. So language is very important and uh, you can see I'm, I'm still learning my English, I'm trying to, to improve and uh, okay, you study English in your country but once you're there, you need more. So doing your homework about this aspect. And the third one is uh, don't think that your dream will be easy. No. The initiative like to start a business in a foreign country will require for everyone that to try much more, but, but much more than you do in your home country. So uh, be prepared to work hard and go to a lot of places and uh, talk with a lot of people and repeat and do again, but I can assure uh, it's a, ex a unique experience. Uh, if you, someone asks me, you recommend, I say, I recommend. There is no price for this kind of experience. So, but I know that is not for everyone. Uh, I know that you need some uh, special feeling or special design to, to accomplish this. But I really recommend, do it. If you can, do it. Because it's, it's I don't know, I don't have words to explain what the kind of feeling I, I have when I talk this. But um, go. Do realize your dreams. That's, that's my point. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Wallace. Uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed your time in Brazil, and then we hope to, you to come back soon. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm missing. So, I'm missing Canada. <laughs> you're missing Canada. Oh, I yeah, it's, I, I know that sounds strange, but I'm missing Canada. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, thank you so much, Wallace. And uh, before we finish here, uh, do startups or any other people can contact you? Uh, to yes, ask please. Yes, 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 yes. How um, they can contact I'm sorry, uh, the, the phone. Uh, well, okay, you can call me by my email. Okay, my email, wallace.santos uh, at gmail.com. I think that is 
easy and you have uh, all tools there. We can chat, we can conf call, anything you want and uh, start there. We can go to Skype, any place, but wallace.sunsetgmail.com is the best way to find me. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm open to help everyone that uh, needs. Sorry. No, perfect. Uh, I'm going to pass your email to everybody. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, Wallace. And uh, for the audience, uh, we are going to have uh, this uh, webinar about soft landing programs and a startup visa next mm -hmm. Tuesday. We hope you guys join us that day uh, to learn how to, you know, how this works here in, in Canada. There is very important to say that uh, what Wallace just said that the process is changing. You know, every time is improving. So things may be easier for some startups, may not be easier for some others. Uh, it depends also the the background and everything, uh, but we hope that more people have good experience as well as had here. And uh, please, um, yeah, contact Wallace when uh, if you have more questions about that. Thank you so much, and uh, hope to see you this Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you.